back to my channel. So today's video is going to kind of be a little different. It's going to be a hodgepodge of a lot of random things, but it's going to be fun and I think you're going to like it. So during lockdown, I've been trying not to spend a lot of money, not buy anything online because, you know, budgets are tighter and everything. And I was doing really well. Like I hadn't bought anything other than the essential food items until about week three or four. And then I was scrolling on Facebook and I was just going through, going through, and I found this. After laughing for like five minutes and I'm not exaggerating, I thought it was hysterical. I knew I needed one. And that's when the Amazon shopping just, you know, well that door just opened, opened up and it opened wide up. But I did find that those squirrel feeders were a little pricey and would take forever to get here. So we were just gonna make one. But the day we were gonna build one, Will's dad actually showed up with one of these. And it's supposed to be a hanging bird feeder, which is still super cute. We already have a couple of those. Um, we're gonna probably secure it to a tree or something. And hopefully the squirrels will sit on the little seat and eat. Did your picnic table flip over, dude? I'm shocked you haven't moved yet. <laughs> Will built this little triangle brace here so it can hold the weight of a squirrel even if they sit out here. He's just going to grab something to clip this wire because it used to be a bird feeder. All right, so we're gonna add our little bird seed and then they like the corn, but we did half because they like to steal the whole thing. Yeah, and we have some of it over here. And now I'm gonna fill our bird feeder, which normally the squirrels will climb up this, come on here and tip the whole thing over. But hopefully with the new picnic table, this will actually be for the birds now. You need to sit on the seat, bro. And you guys already stole the corn? What? And then I also bought some ladybugs. Yeah, you can buy pretty much everything online these days, that's for sure. But ladybugs are really good for the garden because they kill some of the bad bugs. And plus, well, I think they're cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, be careful, don't get them. Okay. <gasps> oh. Go into the wild. Or not. <gasps> Coming out. Oh my gosh, look how freaking cute. So we did put most of the ladybugs in the vegetable garden out back, but our hibiscus plants do have a little bit of an aphid problem right now, actually kind of a bad one, but there are already some ladybugs eating those up. So we just added a couple of the ones we bought up there to help the problem. And have you guys actually ever seen a young ladybug? They are kind of weird, like pretty weird. I got a couple other little things like a neck massager, which I have no idea where we'll put. I can't find that, but I will put a clip of it in here for you guys. And this neck massager is actually wonderful. I think it was only $12 and it works wonders. I also got this cute little green jumpsuit. It's a halter top. And I'm really not a jumpsuit or romper or whatever you wanna call it type of girl. But I thought this would be really good to wear when I'm working in the garden. So it can kind of help those tan lines because they're getting kind of crazy right now. And I also got a new brush. And I always thought people were crazy when they said that a wet brush was better than all the other ones because, well, if you ask me, a brush is a brush. But I was wrong and they were right because this thing is a total game changer. Especially with this long hair, I am so mad at myself that I didn't buy one before. 
Not really sure if anyone's gonna care about this one at all, but I got a new hose nozzle. It's one of the ones with a long neck and it has a little thing to turn the water on and off and you can do different settings. So much better than holding the trigger down the whole time that I'm watering our now pretty big garden. My hand was starting to hurt. So this is helping a ton for sure. And speaking of the garden, we actually did our first harvest. So today we're gonna make our first vegetable harvest. The only thing we're gonna harvest today are these radishes. And all the research I found say that when they're poking through the top and they're about an inch in diameter is when they're good to go. That one actually looks bigger. Oh my gosh, they grew so fast. And this isn't really a gardening video, but we do have a little baby cucumber here. We got a couple. Okay, everything I read just said to take a tool and kind of loosen the soil and then pull it up. Mm. Oh my gosh. Cool. Got a radish. Look how cute. Uh -huh. Don't want to squish our baby carrots. Mm -mm. Can't do that. Oh gosh, look at this one. Oh no. Is he torn? This one's split. I'm not sure if that means that I waited too long to harvest or what, but. Hmm. So funny story, I actually used to love radishes when I was a baby and my mom was confused why. But they do have a little bit of a peppery taste and I love pepper, so maybe it started that young. Hmm. Now we just have to figure out what to plant in this spot now. Mm -hmm. Let's go clean them up for dinner. All right, we cut one up. We're gonna give it a shot. Ready? Yum. Peppery. It is a little spicier than normal, but I think if you leave them in a couple days extra, if you leave them in the ground a couple days extra, they get pepperier. So I guess next time I need to pull them earlier. But I like them spicy. Yay! So as you guys saw, we harvested our radishes and then I also did grab some chives from the garden too to put on some twice baked potatoes. If you don't know what those are, think about if mashed potatoes and a baked potato had a baby. That's a twice baked potato and it's delicious. So that night for dinner, we had pork chops seasoned with garlic, rosemary, and salt and pepper, our salad with our homegrown radishes, and then the twice baked potato. And then kind of out of the blue, I went ahead and did another harvest. In this clip, I'm sure you'll see that I'm definitely a new gardener and I'm just figuring it out as I go along and that's A-OK -okay with me. Most of my lettuce was looking great, but just now, the past couple days, the under leaves were starting to go brown and get gross. I'm not too sure if they're just too old and I should have harvested them already. I don't really know. But I'm gonna go ahead and trim those up and then maybe harvest some of these nice ones and make a little salad. I've seen people take gardening scissors or a knife and just cut the lettuce head all the way down. And as long as you leave the heart, in the middle, then new leaves should come back up. Because my lettuce head is a little smaller, I'm not going to cut it like that. I'm just going to trim off the ones I want. 
So this is what those plants look like now. I just made sure to leave that center. And if you guys want a little update on that little cucumber, yay. I think there's another one under hiding under the sleeve. So sadly, this bowl is what we're getting rid of. They all kind of look like this. Maybe I just should have harvested them earlier. I hate wasting all that. You definitely need to get a compost um, bucket going. But these are all gorgeous little lettuce leaves that I will definitely enjoy in a little salad. We've always wanted a little more storage in our kitchen and it's not really set up to film the cooking videos that I want to film, hopefully in the future. So on my online shopping spree, I bought a kitchen cart. There are so many of these on the market and I bought this one from Target because of the size and it just really matched our kitchen. It came super fast and then it only took Will and I about an hour and a half to put together. We were super proud of that timing because this is somehow the first thing like this we've ever built. gonna go on this little wall here in between our kitchen and our dining room um, but the trash can is gonna be moved over and this we're actually gonna get rid of it used to go over here in between the fridge and the oven but we didn't measure the space correctly when we ordered our new fridge so we had to move that little portion of the cabinet I love it. What are your thoughts? Looks good. <laughs> you approve? I approve. You think we uh you think we need a new trash can now? You mean like a gold one? <laughs> that was on clearance. Yeah, for 30 bucks. <laughs> we don't need it. I know I should have gotten it. Well, whatever. <laughs> so I really do love it because well, it looks great. And you can flip this up. Ooh, breaking my wall here and slide a chair under it and eat, or this is gonna be perfect to film cooking videos on. So, subscribe so you don't miss any of those. I am a little annoyed though because there were a couple of scratches and as you can see as I push it, this magnet isn't very good, but those are easy fixable things and I might just be annoyed because I'm getting a little hangry. As my shirt says. <laughs> So with my last purchase, I guess I was kind of channeling my inner, hmm, let's see, my inner first grader, maybe second grader. <laughs> I bought a butterfly kit so we could raise some butterflies. So it comes in a box like this and it is made for little kids. So you get all of your little literature here. And of course you have your little cup of caterpillars, which we took out already. And then what you're supposed to do is wait for them to grow and they will form their chrysalis on the top lid. And you take the lid off and set it up in this little log thing, the jigger. And you put that in this net. Ta -da. But we, oh, what's going on here? Ta -da. But we are rule breakers, so we're gonna go ahead and make a little environment for them and take the lid off and put this in there prematurely because we wanted to form a chrysalis on a stick or a flower or whatever. Not in a little cup. 
So they've definitely gotten way bigger since we got them. And if you see the little like greenish balls, that is their waist. And then the little black pointy things is when they shed. And then I don't know if you can see it, but they also make like a little web in there that helps them move around the cup. All right, it's time to transfer. Be careful. Oh! Um, okay. You put him over there. Yeah. But put the food source next to him. Okay, mm. put your stick in. And then a stick so they can get out of the cup easy when they want. But we're gonna leave the cup in there so they have their food source. So I have a feeling I'll be spending a lot of my time here. <laughs> Will maybe a margarita to watch my movie, he said. So it's been a couple days and there's one guy left in the cup down there, still hanging out, but the rest are over here. I thought they would form their chrysalis and hang from one of the branches, but I guess not. So it's pretty calm out here now, but just a couple minutes ago, it was rocking out here. So we must just be in between vans. But I came out to check on my veggies. I know they're, you know, supposed to live outside and they go through storms, but it was so sad to see them whipping through the wind. I didn't like it. All day I've had this feeling about the butterflies and I've checked on them multiple times. Well, I just turned around and, and one has come out of its chrysalis Look at it. Of course, it's like the darkest, most humid day, so it's all foggy, but. I'm kind of sad because I actually have things on my to-do list today for once in a couple days now. So I can't just sit and watch them open up, but I'm gonna try and check in on them periodically. Don't worry, it's normal. It's just excess fluid and excess dye from their wings. I write about it online, but how did I not get that on camera? It was seconds away. Gosh, Elena. This one right here, that black one, he died sadly. We're not really sure what happened. But all the other ones are looking good. So we have three more to emerge. All right, so I am Zooming with my friend Michaela. Say hi, Michaela. Hi. <laughs> and I decided to come show her the butterfly. Well, butterfly is gorgeous but I tried to put in um, some food for it and right inside the zipper is a scary, scary spider. Let's show you. Do you see him? Yeah, that's not happening. He looks even scarier up close. All right, so the update is, is my mom swung by for just a minute to drop off these masks for me because I will be starting work again. Don't worry, everything is social distancing approved. But when she was here, she flicked away the spider for me. So I went ahead and added an orange slice and some flowers. So if the butterfly needs to eat, it can. None of the other ones have emerged yet. So today is actually the same day that I'm filming the sit down portion of this video. But to get you guys caught up on all the butterflies, we had three more emerge from their cocoons. So four total butterflies, and the fourth one happened while I was at work, and I just couldn't take the fact that all four were gonna be cramped in that tiny, tiny net, so I told Will to release them, but he released them in our screened-in patio, just for now. 
So this is what they were in. I'm gonna show you guys a close up of one of the cocoons. It's pretty cool. But they all came out here and he said they were kind of chilling on the rose bush over here for a bit. And they have plenty of flowers that they like. This is actually one of their favorites. And then we also left a couple orange slices around just in case. I'm gonna try to find one or two to show you guys right now. And then in the next day or two, we're gonna catch them with the butterfly net and release them into the wild. Of course, now that I have the vlog camera out, there are no butterflies to be seen, but I'm gonna check back later. I really wanna show you guys. So we're actually thinking about ordering another cup of caterpillars just because we are gonna have a butterfly garden soon. That's my birthday present from Will. And then we can do a true releasing of the butterflies. But I did wanna show you guys our sunflowers. We've gotten so tall and we had our first one bloom. This one was from the mixed seed packet. So I'm not sure um, what these front ones, what their colors are gonna be. But look, he has two other little buds. That was definitely a happy find this morning. Hey guys, so it has been a couple days and there are still no butterflies to be seen. We're not really sure if they escaped, if they died, if a little lizard ate them or if they're just hiding. But I was trying to wait and prolong posting this video because I really wanted to show you guys but I guess we're just gonna have to show you guys the next round of butterflies that we raise and we will do an official release for sure that time. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Everything I talked about will be linked down below if you wanna check it out. And I will see you all next week. Bye guys.